Maharashtra's heart beats to the rhythm of an ancient drum. It is the Dol Tasha, the pulse of Ganesh Chaturthi. This festival, deeply embedded in the cultural fabric of the state, transcends mere religious observance. It's a celebration of life, a vibrant tapestry of faith, folklore, and community spirit. For 10 days, the air crackles with energy, a tangible manifestation of collective devotion to the elephant-headed god, Ganesha. Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, the patron of arts and sciences, holds a special place in the Hindu pantheon. He is worshipped at the beginning of every endeavor, a testament to his power and benevolence. While the festival is celebrated across India, it is in Maharashtra that it takes on a particularly grand and exuberant form. This dates back to the 17th century, during the reign of the Maratha warrior king, Shivaji Maharaj. He adopted Ganesha as the patron deity of his empire, solidifying the god's place in the hearts of the Maratha people. The legacy of Shivaji's patronage is evident in the scale and fervor of the festival today. From bustling cities to remote villages, Maharashtra transforms into a living, breathing tribute to Ganesha. Homes, shops and streets are adorned with lights, flowers and intricate rangoli designs. The air hums with devotional songs and the aroma of traditional sweets. It is a time for families to come together, for communities to bond and for the ancient stories of gods and demons to be retold and relived. The epicenter of this cultural earthquake is undoubtedly Mumbai, the state capital. Here the festival takes on a life of its own, a kaleidoscope of sound, color and sheer human energy. It is a spectacle that has to be seen to be believed. The arrival of Ganesh Chaturthi is heralded by a palpable sense of anticipation. Days before the festival, artisans put the finishing touches on their creations. Idols of Ganesha lovingly sculpted from clay and painted in vibrant hues. These idols, ranging in size from a few inches to towering behemoths, are more than just religious icons. They are embodiments of hope, prosperity and the indomitable spirit of the festival. The day the idols arrive is electric. Homes are meticulously cleaned and decorated. Families gather to welcome their bapa with prayers, offerings of sweets and the lighting of incense sticks. The air reverberates with the chanting of mantras and the joyous shouts of Ganpati Bapa Moria. The arrival of the larger public idols is an event of even greater magnitude. These idols, often installed by community groups or organizations, are paraded through the streets with much fanfare. The processions are a sight to behold. Accompanied by the thunderous beat of Dol Tasha troops, these vibrant parades wind their way through crowded streets, transforming the city into a riot of color and sound. As the sun begins to set, casting long shadows across the city, the processions finally reach their destinations. Elaborately decorated pandals, temporary structures erected specifically for the festival. Here, amidst a cacophony of devotional fervor, the idols are installed with great ceremony ready to preside over the festivities for the next 10 days. No celebration of Ganesh Chaturthi in Maharashtra is complete without the pulsating rhythm of the Dol Tasha, this traditional percussion ensemble, once the preserve of the battlefield, now fuels the energy of the festival. The Dechol, a large double-headed drum, provides the booming heartbeat while the Tasha, a smaller high-pitched kettle drum, adds a layer of frenetic energy. During Ganesh Chaturthi, Dol Tasha troops, comprising hundreds of musicians, take to the streets, their synchronized drumming creating an almost trance-like atmosphere. The air vibrates with their energy, drawing in bystanders and devotees alike into the swirling vortex of sound. The rhythmic pounding of the drums, the clash of cymbals and the infectious energy of the musicians create an immersive experience that is both exhilarating and deeply moving. These performances are not merely about entertainment, they are an integral part of the festival's spiritual fabric. The Dol Tasha represents the victory of good over evil, a theme central to the story of Ganesha. The pulsating rhythm is believed to awaken the divine within, urging devotees to shed their inhibitions and surrender to the joy of the festival. The energy of the Dol Tasha is infectious. It knows no age barrier, no social divide. It unites people from all walks of life in a shared experience of rhythm and release, reminding everyone of the unifying power of music and celebration. 
One of the most heartening aspects of Ganesh Chaturthi in Maharashtra is the active involvement of the youth. Far from being passive observers of tradition, young people are at the forefront of the festivities, injecting a dose of modern vibrancy into ancient customs. This intergenerational collaboration ensures that the festival remains relevant and continues to resonate with each passing year, from designing elaborate decorations and crafting innovative themes for the pandals to organizing blood donation camps and awareness drives. The youth bring their creativity and social consciousness to the forefront. They use technology to spread awareness about the festival, leveraging social media platforms to share information, photos and videos connecting with a global audience. This infusion of youthful energy is particularly evident in the Doltasha troops. Many of these groups are now composed entirely of young men and women who dedicate months to perfecting their craft. Their enthusiasm is infectious, their performances a testament to their dedication to preserving and evolving their cultural heritage. This blend of tradition and modernity is what makes Ganesh Chaturthi in Maharashtra so unique. It is a testament to the enduring power of tradition and its ability to adapt and thrive in the face of changing times, ensuring that the spirit of the festival continues to resonate with generations to come.